Sunday Sports Wrap on WCIA 3 News. No time to rest for the Illini. They can do that during Thanksgiving break. Two days after taking down Valparaiso, the Illini back on the State Farm Center court hosting Southern tonight. Not SIU Carbondale, Southern University. Coleman Hawkins missing his second game in a row with a knee injury. The game belongs to Illinois big man Dane Danger early getting the defender off his feet slams at home. He had the first eight points for the Illini. Now Danger doing some distributing as well. This time to Quincy Garrier as he gets that layup to go. Illinois takes an early lead. Niccolo Moretti getting some early game time in this one. Pushing the pace goes with the crafty finish at the rim. The Italian getting involved early after a quiet start for the biggest Illini star. Terrence Shannon Jr. comes alive aggressive downhill makes the bucket, picks up the foul, but misses the free throw. More Shannon now full speed towards the hoop on the fast break. Moretti finds him, tosses up a prayer. Goaltend is called plus the foul for the three-point play. He had 11 straight points at the end of the half, but before they go into the locker room, Dre gives Longhorn the Euro step bucket. 17-0 Alana run. They lead by 18 at the break. Now Gary a struggling with the jumper, but doesn't need to worry about that with the dunk. Second of the game and one thing the Illini were missing in the first anything from range Shannon fixes that as Jags call the timeout after the three and now that the first one is down here comes Luke Goody back to back threes to put the game on ice and Illinois picks up the win 88 60 is the final Shannon finishes with a team high 24 points as now the Illini can rest until Black Friday Brett Barons has more from the State Farm Center Playing a season-high 13 minutes in the first half alone, Nicolo Moretti made the most of his chance to get on the court. The Italian point guard scored four points, dished three assists, and grabbed three boards. A plus 20 and the plus minus in the opening 20 minutes, providing a spark off the bench for the Illini in a back-and-forth game early. Man, Nico been killing in practice, man. Uh, being a floor general, uh, just being a great pure point guard. Uh, and as y'all can see in the last two games uh, that he played, uh, he showcased that. But Moretti's night was cut short after going down right before the break. The freshman had to be helped to the locker room and did not return. He wasn't the only one injured either, with Dre Gibbs Lawhorn also hobbling off the court late. Illinois head coach Brad Underwood says it's a foot injury for Moretti. Turn stepped on it. Um, he plays with speed. Very few guys can play with speed and, and, and play with a thought process that is slow and he does that as very very well after shooting 28 or more threes in three out of their first four games the Illini made it a point to get the ball in the paint and it paid off they outscored Southern 62 to 28 in the lane including 12 points from Dane Danger and eight from freshman Imani Hansberry who also grabbed seven rebounds you know I'm creating my role here uh, coach battle he tells me to do a rim run you know seal off you know just play hard you know just leave it all out there on the floor so. one concern the turnovers Illinois committed 21 as Southern's pressure defense led to a lot errors all night long. We just got to make better plays. Um, some of the passes we throw was, wasn't really smart. After playing three games in six days, the Illini get a bit of a break now, only playing two games in the next 13 days, starting with a Black Friday appearance here at State Farm Center against Western Illinois. Reporting for your Illini Nation, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports. All right, Brett, thanks. We've got more coverage of the game on yourillinination.com. Brad Underwood's full postgame presser, and we'll also have the three-in-one podcast coming very soon.